Hello, welcome to another video of the Complete Angular course. In this video, I'll walk you through on how to set up your Angular development environment. First, I'll show you how to install Visual Studio Code, the code editor that I'll be using throughout the course. Then I'll show you how to install Node.js and the Angular command line interface tool. This will give us the ability to run commands to operate the Angular architecture. Lastly, we'll create and start our first Angular project. To install Visual Studio Code, go to code.visualstudio.com slash download, and then select the download option for the operating system you're using. You'll be directed to another page and your download should start shortly. Wait for the download to finish and start the installer. You'll be prompted with series of instructions. Accept the agreement, then choose the location you want to install the application. You may stick with the default location that it provides. Click Next until you reach the install page, and then click Install to begin the installation. Next, we will install Node.js and the Angular command line interface tool. To install Node.js, go to nodejs.org slash en slash download. Then select the option for the operating system you're using and wait for the download process to finish, and then run the installer. You'll be prompted with a series of instructions. Begin the process by clicking Next and accepting the agreement. Then select the location you want to install Node.js. Leave it at the default location and click Next until you reach the install page. Then click install and wait for the process to finish. When the installation is finished, open the terminal or command prompt and run the command node-v. This will show us which version of Node.js is installed and that the installation was successful. Now we will install the Angular command line interface tool. To install the Angular CLI, run the command npm install g at angular slash CLI and wait for the process to finish. Once the process is finished, run the Angular CLI command ngv to check the version of Angular CLI you have installed. With that, we are all set. We have VS Code, Node.js, and Angular CLI installed. Next, I'll show you how you can start your first project. Creating a project is easy. We will use some of the Angular CLI commands to help us generate our project. But first, we need a location that's easily accessible to store our project files. Create a folder at a location that's easily accessible. Then open the terminal or command prompt that points to the folder location. On Windows, you can open the command prompt that points to the folder location by going into the folder, then type CMD in the File Explorer address bar and press the Enter key when you're done. This will automatically open a command prompt that points to the location. Next, run the Angular CLI command ngnew followed by the project name. This will generate our project files. You will then be asked questions on preferences for your project. Enter yes for the Angular routing question. This will give us the ability to navigate between our web pages. Then select the type of style sheet you want to use. I'll be using CSS. Once the process finishes, close the command prompt and you will see a folder in the folder you have just created. For the next part, we want to be able to see our project on the browser. Open the terminal or command prompt in the project folder, then run the Angular CLI command ng-serve. This command will temporarily create a server to host our Angular web application. When the process finishes, go to the browser and type localhost 4200 in the address bar and press enter. You should see what I have on the screen or something similar. It depends on the Angular CLI version you have installed. 
Lastly, I'll show you how you can open your project on VS Code. Open a command prompt for your project and then run the command code period. This will automatically open the project on VS Code. To recap, we went through how to install Visual Studio Code, Node.js, and the Angular command line interface tool. We learned how to use the Node V and NGV commands to check the version of Node and Angular CLI we have installed. We learned how to open the command prompt by typing CMD in the file explorer address bar. We learned how to start a local server to host our Angular web application so that we can see our project on the browser. And we also learned how to open VS Code by running the code period command. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. If you have questions, leave a comment. Please like and subscribe for more videos.